and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So today I thought I would show you a new series of pens. I've had a lot of requests on the currently inked uh, videos to do writing samples and although I'd love to um, try to do writing samples of 30 to 40 pens is uh, just going to make the videos way too long. So I thought what I would do, I actually wrote a lot of letters to pen pals uh, and I thought I would um, show you um, the majority of the pens that I have had inked up in August 2018. So this is the first of hopefully many series of uh, videos here. Uh, and these will be a monthly video uh, where I will also do the writing sample. So from left to right, we have the uh, Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Wild Side the Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Arco Verde in a gold trim and then I have it in a rhodium trim. I have the Omas Milord Arco Brown. I have an Omas Ogiva Cocktail Blue Angel. I have the Visconti Medici Il Magnifico. The Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Swirl. The Visconti Camelot the Classic Pens LB5 in the Calsecchi finish, the brown, and I also have an Opus 88 Calaro Demonstrator. So let's take a closer look at these pens. So we have the Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Wild Side, and this is a stunning uh, material from the original Omar Celluloid uh, called The Wild, and you can see here it has like these veins running through the material it's very very uh, stunning material um, and I will show you the nib it's uh, uh, an 18 carat uh, flex nib magic flex nib and you can see there it's uh, a lovely lovely nib and then the next pen is the Arco Verde now I have a review of this uh, that should be released uh, by now uh, so you can take a look at this but this is um, the a, a very rare material um, from uh, Omos, uh, the Omos celluloid uh, they do an Arco Brown which I have here in the Omos Milord I also actually have a Bologna Extra from Mon Armando Simone Club in the Arco Brown as well um, now the Arco Brown is somewhat limited or fairly limited uh, the amount of rods that, that are available to, to turn pens from uh, the Arco Verde is actually even more limited as I understand it so, so this is a, a really really stunning stunning material and this also has the uh, 18 carat uh, magic flex nib on the pen as well so uh, you can see that there it's um, it's a lovely nib now these are laser engraved so what you will find is that the ink will pull in those uh, laser etched sections now some people like that some people don't um, it doesn't bother me that much I would prefer that they didn't um, if I had the the choice uh, now I also have the other one which is in a rhodium trim so you can see there now uh, again similar style pattern although these patterns will differ slightly um, but um, you can see that you've got the rhodium trim clip here and cap band and medallion and uh, you also because it's a rhodium trim you'll see it's a rhodium colored nib and not a gold nib quite a different but again you get the ink pooling there as well uh, in uh, the etched areas of that nib so that's just uh, something you, you have to contend with with these but you can see here that the patterns here between the two are actually quite different and you'll get this on a lot of celluloid pens be it Armando Simone Club, Omas or even Visconti like with the bronze swirl or the London Fog you'll get different patterns on, on each pen it's just not possible to get the same uh, exact identical pattern um, and moving on, this is the Omas Milord, and uh, this is uh, the Arco Brown, and as you can see there, it, that shines a, a lot more than the Arco Verde does uh, in, in a, like a gold, 
uh, hue there and it's it's a really really lovely pen um, now these Armadis and Mini Clubs are fine nibs um, they write a little bit more like a medium I would say uh, this is a medium and it writes more like a, a broad to double broad um, it's a it's a gorgeous gorgeous wet nib um, and I really really do love this nib uh, if there was one pen uh, with with one nib that uh, certainly from the Omas pens I have that I I had to run with out of the house if there was a fire, this would be the one. It's it writes spectacularly. Uh, I couldn't really ask for a better nib. Uh, and then we have the Omos Ojiva Cocktail Blue Angel. And this has, again, a very spectacular nib. Uh, now, th this uh, I, I um, received, uh, I swapped uh, for another pen um, in uh, July. And uh, this has quickly become a favourite of mine. Um, again, it's an Omos, it's an Omos nib, but this actually has what's called the 52 degree nib on it. And the reason why is that this nib is ground at an angle of 52 degrees. Uh, it's a very wet nib. Um, it's a very juicy writer of a nib. Uh, and like all, like most of uh, Omar's pens, it's a piston filler. And I do love this pen a lot. So that has also uh, become a real favourite because this writes more like a double broad. Um, and I like wider nibs in, in general. Uh, I've also been writing with the Visconti Medici Il Magnifico, uh, and again, this is such a stunning pen. Now, this is made of uh, solid silver, uh, AG925, uh, in, in the cap here, so it's a heavy cap, in the filling knob, and the section, and then the, the rest of the pen is made from marble. So it is a heavy pen, and it comes in, I think, around 70 grams. Uh, this comes with the 23 cap palladium nib uh, from Visconti, um, and uh, uh, I uh, this wrote a little dry. Um, this is one of the Visconti nibs that I did have to uh, tweak a little bit just to uh, improve the wetness because I do like wet nibs. Now it writes perfectly, um, and I really do love this nib, and I write with this one a lot. Uh, another one that I picked up in, in July uh, was the Visconti Homo Sapiens uh, Bronze Swirl. And this is a stunning pen. And you can see there that I, I have literally that much ink left in the barrel. Um, I, I, I literally have been writing with this so much. And it's uh, this has got a 1.3mm um, stub on it. Um, uh, this one actually has a medium nib by the way, the, the Medici or Magnifico. But this one, because it's a, a 1.3 millimeter stub, it really is juicy wet. And um, I really do love this. Uh, I do love the Visconti stub nibs a lot. And you can see there that the like, the, the, the nib there, the, the actual stub nib is, is pretty, pretty wide. So I do like these uh, Visconti stubs. Um, and it's a 23 cat palladium nib. Uh, last year I was able to pick up this lovely Visconti Camelot. Uh, and that was in, I think, November in 2017. And this is a gorgeous pen. And I really, really do love this. Um, not only just from the workmanship, this, um, this has a lot of, um, you can see here, chain mail. And gold accents here, cap bands and bo uh, bands on the body as well. But it, uh, it also has a uh, sword, a Camelot sword, as the as a clip. Um, it, it really is a lovely, lovely pen. Um, and uh, not only because of the material, though, uh, because of the nib. Uh, this is a Paravac filler, like a lot of Visconti's. Uh, and this is a lovely uh, 18 cat gold nib. And um, it's quite bouncy. Uh, it's a medium nib, but I do love this nib. Um, and I do love how it writes. So um, this is uh, has been... I, I want to say I have probably had this inked up pretty much most of the time since I bought it. Um, 
I really do love how this writes uh, and it's very wet as well and then the other pen which I, I picked up in October last year at the uh, London Pen Show is the uh, Classic Pens LB5 in the Kawasaki and I do love uh, I do. It, this is basically um, uh, a Sailor King of pen uh, in the diffusion bonded acrylic. I do love the Sailor King of pen nibs, um, uh, and and this really doesn't disappoint. Uh, it's a uh, medium nib, um, which which writes a little bit more like a fine nib, um, but uh, or Western fine. But uh, it, it really is a lovely, lovely nib, um, and uh, quite bouncy. Um, it has a little bit of a um, pencil feedback to it, but um, I do find that this is a is a again a, a lovely pen to write with. So I've been writing with that, and then I think it was in was it May or June I, I picked up uh, an Opus 88 Calaro Demonstrator, and I really like this uh, so much I bought another two. Uh, I love this like antique glass effect that that go is going on here on the pen. Um, I love that the, the the sort of uh, the the clearness of this this uh, plastic um, or acrylic here and here on the end cap. Um, it's a it's a um, demonstrator. It's a um, an eyedropper pen, um, and and this was my first eyedropper pen, and it writes spectacularly. I I have a um, uh, a Jovo Steel broad nib uh, on on this pen, and this I do find writes superbly, and and I found this a lot with um, Jovo uh, board nibs. So I I really do like it. So um, this has been a pen that I have been writing with a lot in August, and um, I uh, I uh, because it's <laughs> because it has so much of an ink capacity. It's two milliliters, like a lot of the um, Visconti's. I find it difficult to actually get through um, because I have so many pens inked up. I have 30 to 40 inked up normally. Um, and I will just choose which pens are inked up and, and write with them. Um, but these are really the top 10 pens uh, that I have been using uh, in August 2018. And uh, so I, I think with that, let's do some writing samples. So we have here the so what I'll do is I'll, I'll do some ink swatches here so you can see uh, the ink color so this is the Armando Simone club now I'm gonna run out of space so I'm, I'm just gonna put the um, uh, uh, wild side And it's a it's a fine stroke medium nib. It writes more like a medium, to be honest. Um, and then this, the ink that I'm using here is Akaman. And if I can spell this right, it's uh, Bazudan Wood Grown. And and this is a lovely ink. So I wanted to to really get the um, uh, an ink that would work. I tend to like to to ink up pens with a similar color. Now this is a black pen. I don't normally do black ink, but I did notice that on these um, uh, lovely swirls here, uh, these veins, they were a little bit creamy and and with a a, a tint or, or tinge of green to them. Um, so I thought green would, would be a lovely ink and I really do like this Akamon uh, ink. Um, now I also, uh, strangely and unfortunately, I don't normally do this a lot, but I have the same ink in this pen. Now this is a much wetter pen as you can probably see here. Uh, and again, this is the Armando Simone Club and this is the Arco Verde and this is really wet and again it's a fine stroke medium and I'll just rewrite the ink oh, come on 
Besöden would go on. Let's do that. And that's it, obviously, in the um, gold trim. And then I also have, strangely enough, I have it in the rhodium trim. Uh, and even more strangely enough, I have the same ink. Now, I need to run at least two of these pens down and change them to a different green ink. But I do love this ink color so much that for me, like this really is um, becoming one of my favorite greens. Like I do like Diamine Meadow, which I have inked up in the um, Opus 88. But this is a really lovely ink. So again, Armando Simone Club Arco Verde. And again, it's a, a fine stroke medium now you can kind of see here that this one here that was so wet is actually started to feather slightly or, or at least spread um and again so that same ink akaman bazudan wood go on so that that's uh, kind of interesting, and this is rhodia paper. <laughs> so so that kind of tells you how wet it is, and you can see already um, the different colours here between um, the pens. So even though they're the same pen or same make and model pen, you see that there is a difference in wetness and a difference because of that in the colour as well, um, and and they're exactly the same nibs. Now, I have the Omos Arco uh, Brown Milord, so let's do this one as well. Now, this one I absolutely love, and this is one of the pens that I um, uh, have not matched the colour of ink to the uh, colour of the pen, and I normally have to do that, and the reason why is I absolutely love this ink. So, this is the Omos my lord and this is the arco brown and this is a medium nib and the ink is uh franklin christoph spanish blue and I do love this ink. So this is one of the inks that I, I really, really have to uh, ink up in, in this pen because it is such a, a lovely ink. Uh, it's a wet writer, and I do love it. Um, now, I have um, this one, which is the Omas Ojiva Cocktail. Now, this, again, is inked up with the same ink. Um, but you can see here that this is a paintbrush of a nib. Um, and it's gorgeous. So, Omos, Ojiva, <laughs> Cocktail, um, uh, Blue Angel. I can just about get this in, I think. And this is a 52 degree nib. And again, it's Franklin... Christoph Spanish Blue. Oh, there you go. Um, and you can see how much wet it. Now, now this Omas Milord here is a medium, and it tends to write when it's wet more like a broad, um, and actually writes slightly wider than my. Um, uh, Omar's uh, Paragon board, but this 52 writes more like a, a double uh, or triple board. It's such a a, a wide nib. Um, and then there we have the Visconti Medici Il Magnifico. So again, I'll do an ink swatch here. Now, as I mentioned, this nib actually came writing quite dry, 
and I've actually shimmied uh, the tines a number of times to to improve the ink flow on this and uh, it's a medium nib um, but now it writes really really nicely so this is the Visconti Medici Il Magnifico and this is a medium nib and this is a uh, Visconti uh, Bordeaux and I think that is a perfect colour the, the ink came with the pen uh, came with a, a bottle of ink and I, I really really do like that uh, then we have the Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Swirl now um, Again, this is a 1.3 millimeter stub. Uh, so let's do this. Do a lovely ink swatch, and you can see here it's a wide nib because it's a stub. It's a 23 cap palladium nib. So do Visconti. I'm going to do Homo sapiens bronze swirl. Now it is a very wet nib. It is uh, a little bit over polished, so there are a little bit some hard starts on Rodia. Uh, I don't get it on Temeray River though. Uh, Rodia is very smooth and very waxy. Uh, now this is a uh, stub nib, and this is uh, ink is uh, Robert Oster, or Oster, and this is uh, Cafe. Crema, and I think that color matches this pen perfectly. I always think of this as a cappuccino pen uh, or the coffee pen. So Cafe Crema, I think, is a perfect match. And then we have the Visconti uh, Camelot, and uh, it's it's obviously a silver pen. Um, I have had this inked up with Mont Blanc Oyster Grey a lot. Um, I actually now have Mont Blanc Lavender Purple in it um, because I have a number of pens inked up with Oyster Grey so I found that this is a lovely, uh, also a lovely combination um, so although I, I normally need to match the ink colours to the pens I do like uh, this uh, in the pen and I do remember which ink is in here because of that a lot of time I actually forget which inks are in which pens if I have a different colour ink in there so this is the Visconti Camelot in a medium nib and, and this is an 18 carat nib and as I said it's Mont Blanc Lavender Purple And then we have two more. This is the Classic Pens LB5. And this is uh, one of my favorite pens because of the finish, but I also like the nib. Uh, it's a medium nib, but actually acts more like a, a Western fine nib. And you can see here, it is very, very fine. I almost actually think that it, it actually gets to a point, it's almost like an extra fine nib. Um, because it really, really is that fine. So this is the classic pens LB five Kalseki, and it's a medium. But I will put in here fine because. If you compare this to um, some of the other nibs up here, if they're mediums, if they're fines going on mediums, then this is a definitely more of a fine nib. Um, and then the ink in here, I have uh, Pilot Uh and this is a uh, Sukushi, and 
I love that ink. Uh, it's a lovely ink. Um, now this nib does actually have a little bit of pencil feedback going on. Um, I think mainly because of its uh, because it's so fine. And then we have uh, the last pen uh, is the Opus 88 Calaro Demonstrator. Now I'm going to open up the valve here because this actually allows it to write a little bit wetter. It's not a huge amount, but it, it, it I find it does help when writing. Um, and and this is a broad, but to be honest, I'd say these broads can be a little bit more medium-like. Um, but uh, again, I do like this this nib. Uh, it's a Jovo. It's a steel nib. Uh, so this is the Opus uh, 88 Calaro Demonstrator, and it's a broad nib. And uh, the ink I have in here is Diamine Meadow. So, you can see here from top to bottom, we have the Armando Simone Clubs, uh, we have the Wild Side, we have two Verdes here, uh, and you can see this one is a lot wetter, and you can see that the colour changes here between them. Uh, we have uh, an Omos Milord Arco Brown uh, and again like uh, this is Rhodia paper and because this is a very wet uh, Milord pen you get this kind of feathering and spreading going on especially around like the Kristoff here and likewise with the um, Omos Ajiva cocktail as well. Uh, so it is a uh, really uh, these are really wet nibs, and, and that's why I lo love these nibs. And then just moving up, we have the Visconti Medici Il Magnifico uh, in a medium nib. Uh, we have the Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Swirl in a stub. We have the Visconti Camelot uh, in uh, with a Mont Blanc Lavender Purple. Uh, we have the Classic Pens LB5. Uh, and we have uh, the Opus 88 Calaro demonstrator. So I hope that ink uh, test and ink sample was uh, of use to all of you and uh, so that you could actually see these pens fully inked up and, and have a writing sample. Uh, if you liked it then please do uh, give me a comment uh, below uh, on the video and uh, let me know what you thought and if you would like me to change that in any way. Um, I don't know that I'll be able to do this on the currently inked because those uh, videos tend to have a lot more pens that are actually inked up. Um, but maybe I can actually uh, uh, just pick the top 10 pens out of the currently inked. Um, again, let me know uh, in the comments below um, and, uh, and let me know what you thought about this video. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.